The next emergency is GI bleeding, right? That's the big one, the, the dreaded complication that we all hate. Um, and we have a couple of tools to, um, to take care of bleeding. The first, I guess, we'll probably start with is just an injectable, right? The um, scleral needle. I think we have one here. So let's say some, you see a blood vessel that's bleeding, it's pumping a little bit. You know, oftentimes it requires more than one modality to stop the bleeding. Mm -hmm. So we might start by taking a, a needle and injecting epinephrine around the blood vessel to make it contract and, and stop bleeding. So basically, um, do we have a syringe? I don't know if we can show them how to hook up the syringe too. So, yeah, so this is what, what the needle looks like. Basically, um, again, the, the mechanism is always the same. Okay, but basically you have an ep an, a syringe filled with epinephrine. We uh, attach it to the end of the sclera needle. Right, and then if you look, by grabbing it down here, right, if you push it in and out, mm -hmm. see, we're just pushing it in, and you can mm -hmm. see the needle it's out. coming out, right? Mm -hmm. And then to pull back, you just pull the needle back out. Mm -hmm. Right, so, and you can see the mechanism here. You slide the syringe in, and slide it we, out, and that's how you bring the needle in and out. We do, um... And then, yeah, once the needle, yeah, priming it. Priming yes. it, right. But once the needle's out, oh, we we'll probably squirt I'm sorry, you. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> but anyway, so that's that's how you inject the epinephrine, right? So you put the needle out, and then you inject it. And again, it's all the same. Let's show what it looks like through the scope. Let me just clean this lens. I don't know why it's such a mess. Maybe we have gel on it. Okay. You see, the needle always looks a lot bigger when you're looking through the the channel. Okay, so needle out. Okay, and you can see the. Can we see it there? Let's see. Yeah, see the needle? Let me just jiggle it so you can get that little bubble off. So you can clearly see the needle as it's coming through. And then we push it up against the vessel. And we might say inject. And then, by, then you grab the syringe. And you can come back over here just to show it the syringe. And then they just inject a CC of Epi or two, whatever, we, whatever the GI guy feels they want to do. One CC, two CC, just inject it in. And that's it. And when you're done, the needle comes back, so you pull the whole syringe back, and then we just take it out. So that's the sclero needle. Okay. Another tool we have is the bicap. Why don't we do that one? Um, oh, which one is this? Okay. Oh, clip. Yeah, we love clips. Okay. <clears throat> clips are the best. These are... So let's say we do the epinephrine, we slow down the bleed, and now we want to actually mechanically grab whatever's bleeding and just squeeze it shut. And with these clips, we can do that. So this is what a clip looks like. There you go, I'll give it to Nilda. And this, you know, everything will tell you. Like endoscopic hemoclip. Everything mm -hmm. is name and once the doctor say, you know, you just have to look. Mm -hmm. Okay. And a clip, well, let me show them how to work it before we put it in. So you, want, you don't want to squeeze it shut, right? If you squeeze it hard, you're going to deploy the clip. Once you deploy the clip, it, it's done. Yeah, it's going to be shot and you can't do it again. So but, what um, you need is to yeah. make sure that it's, that it's not open. Yeah, but you can like gently sort of open and close and you can see how it okay. opens and closes. I'm going to borrow this for a second. The nice thing about the clip is you can change, just by turning, you know, you know I'm going to open it just okay. to show you. Let's say the, the vessel is, is tangential to the clip. So I want, it, I want my clip to turn at an angle. All you do is you turn this, and if you, if you just turn the clip, you can actually position the, the clip in any way you want so that you can deploy the clip the way you want to do it. Good, so then we close it. Okay, then I'll give that back to you. We pass the clip into the scope. Okay, and then let's say we say, okay, open the clip. Okay, so let's say I want to just turn it a little, change the angle. So why don't we turn it a little bit, see if we can angle it. Okay, then I put it up against, let's see, I'm going to pretend I'm going to clip something here. Okay, now why don't we close. So before you close, you can say, okay, I like that, I feel like I got the vessel. And then what, what can we deploy one here? Yes. Yeah, so let's just deploy it and we'll let it go. It, then we just push it hard inside. Yep. And, and then that's it. The clip. And now if you take a look, here's the clip on the tissue. And it's pretty, pretty good. You can't, that's not coming off. I mean, it'll eventually fall off, but that's it. That's how we deploy the clip. So once you push it all the way down, it releases the clip and you're done. If you, if you misfire, you got to get another clip. 
So, but that happens. You know, what are we going to do? It's expensive, but we try not to do that. <laughs> Down to the, what, two things. We have the thigh cap. Oh. And then I'll show, I'll do the, the, um, the banding at, at the end, because that's, that's usually okay. the toughest. So bicap cap is when you want to add um, some, you, you want to put, you know, a heat, right? You want to use thermal cautery. You want to burn the area, push up against the vessel, and stop it. So, um, I'll just watch That's we're that. going to use the... Remember, but this and the bottom is just the irrigation system, mm -hmm. and this is where we have the uh, catalyzation uh, to burn. Mm -hmm. So okay. it's also safe by cut. So. Very easy to hook up. So nothing, nothing's hard. <clears throat> and sometimes for bleeders we're using all of these modalities you know you gotta put a clip on it's still bleeding and then you want to burn it and then you so okay so here i'll take this here's the tip and you can see the little sort of the coils on the end so that, that's you know mm -hmm. what's going to burn the the actual vessel Yeah, soft coat. Soft coat, 20 over here, unless the doctor, this is the, the level of uh, of the catheterization, right, that you're going yep. to do. Okay. Exactly. Yeah, so usually the, the setting is 20. Remember to hook this up to the right this, button. And then, and the, then you wanna, the blue one has to light, have to be light on, and it has to say uh, soft coat. Mm -hmm. This can be connected to the water, but most of the time we don't do it because the doctor mm -hmm. can do it from... Yeah, it's more so of a, an older tool. The water used to go through here, but now we have the water going through the scope. So if you want to wash the blood away or whatever, we already have it hooked up through here. So really, that's it. That's how you hook that up. So now then he... And we have the pedals here. And then again, we take the device, just put it through. And you can see it coming through the tip of the scope. Okay, there it is. And then what we do is you find wherever you're going to treat, press it up against it, and then we just hit the, the button. We'll do it, but then we burn the the, the uh, whatever the vessel by stepping on the pedal. Very simple. That's the um, black cap. Easy enough. And so one more tool, which is the hardest of all, I think, to set up. Easy to use, very hard to set up. And that is the six shooter. Is this a new one, I think, or no? That's the same. That's what we use. Okay. Yeah, it's just some lead. So this is when you have variceal bleeding, right? And, and nobody likes them. Um, and I, I would say that I have a feeling a lot of the attendings, when they come in, they may not know how to do this. They might, they'll know how to use it, but they might not know how to set it up because they're coming from private practices. They're probably not gonna see a ton of them. So this is why this is most important, is particularly video this, so we can kind of review it. And it's very, very simple. But if you're not doing a lot of them, you just sort of forget. Okay. Let's see if I remember. Okay. So basically you have, this is kind of the dial, right? This is how you sort of shoot the, um, the bands, okay? Um, and basically what we do is we take the device. This is the, the channel that we're putting all those little um, devices through. This is the, the channel here. We open it up and just put this in there, okay? This little, it's like a little diaphragm here, normally is not punctured yet. It's not able to pass anything through. So you take this little pin that comes in the kit and you put it through like that until you pop a hole, right? You just pop it open, take it out. Okay. Then you have this, uh, it's kind of like a tool that, that just loads the string through the, uh, through the scope. They're both exactly the same on both sides. They have little hooks on both ends, right? Mm -hmm. So basically what you do is you take uh, this, you just pass it through there, and just pass it till it comes out the end. Through the hole we punctured. Yep, right through the hole. And ultimately it's gonna come through the end. Sometime, okay, there it is. 
Now, that's a little bit more. So now you have this end here, okay? Now we take the actual bander. This is what it looks like. I think we, it's, this one's already been opened because we kind of used it to show how it works, but um, let me see, make sure I'm doing this one correctly too because it looks like it's been a little tampered with. Okay. Um, so what we do then is we take this end here. Where's the other end? Here we go. Let me just put this end down for a minute. And then basically, as you can see, there's a little knot on the end. And this basically hooks... So I'm going to pass the scope over to you now, if that's okay. Um, we take this little knot, and it just goes into that little hook there. See that? Yeah, exactly. It just stays in. And then, now I'm going to switch with you. Now we pull it out, okay? So I'm going to drag the whole thing oh. out through. And here comes the, the actual bander. Let's see. Okay, and then that just fits on the top. Oh. Okay. Yeah. And then we take the little, take this off. Now we don't need this anymore. We we've loaded. I want to put that off to the side you here. Can, you screw that on, or it just. It just kind of You just kind of push it on. You don't have to go too tight. Okay. And then, if you look over here, see, depending on how you, depending on how you have the dial. It, it, like in this case, it's going in one direction. If I pull it back, now it only goes in the other direction. It doesn't matter, whatever you're comfortable with. Um, there's a little slit here. You basically pop this into this slit. And I'm, I'm not putting it down so it's hard to... Let me just kind of shift my hands here. So it goes into that little slit like that. And then you just kind of roll it up. Let me, let me make sure so it rolls nice and tight. Yep, exactly right. Roll it up, roll it up. And now, once you feel a little tension, now we're ready. So that's what you're seeing through the scope. You have your bander. And basically, then I want to, you know, I find my, my barracks. Again, the GI, most of them know how to do this. You, you find the vein you want to you wanna band. They put it on that, little, on that little vessel and then suction. And so the, the vein sort of gets pulled into the channel. And then once it's on, you deploy a band. That's how you do it. You literally just twist the dial, and, this is what and it this shoots is what a little rubber band. Oh, yep. okay. yeah. And you can see it's pretty small once it's in, but that's going to grab the, the mm -hmm. barracks, and it's going to choke it off. Mm -hmm. But if you put something in, I don't know, like if I, let's say, let's say this is the vein, so I'll, if you put it, let's say, so you suction the vein so that it's in the channel, if I could just ask you to hold that there, okay. like make sure it's in there, because you, again, you, you, the job of the GI guy is to actually suction it in. Okay, good. And now if I deploy the, the next band, wait, I'm turning the wrong one, that's why, here we go, ready? That's it. It stays on the... That's how it's going to take that. And how many oh, bands are in that? It's a six shooter, so there's six. Oh. <laughs> yep. Six. <laughs> and that is it. So that's really the last of the, of the tools. So just to summarize then, two emergencies, really, it's very simple, um, foreign body, right? We talked about the over tube. Um, we talked about the, um, the grabbers, um, basket, snare. These are all the devices that we can pass in and out through the over tube to pull out whatever we're trying to get. That, <clears throat> that's the foreign body. And then for bleeders, we have, particularly for Baraseal bleeders, the six shooter. And then for ulcers and other bleeding um, things, um, we've got the um, scleroneedle needle to inject, bicap, cautery, um, the and the clip, and I think that's it, right? I think yeah, we got it all. Yeah. So, great, and that's everything. <laughs>